In this video, we provide a simple introduction to databases. Databases are structured, persistent collections of data. They allow us to arrange and store data into a series of tables for further querying and manipulation. Databases fall into two main types. There are what are known as single table or flat file databases, and these are covered in the IGCSE syllabus, and relational databases, which are beyond the syllabus. A flat file database consists of one or more tables. Each table consists of many separate records or rows, and each record is identical in its structure, though its contents will vary. Each record consists of a number of separate fields or columns. A relational database consists of multiple related tables. In this example, we can see how three separate tables are related or joined together. Changing the lecturer code for a course will update the associated field for all students on that course. Now how separate database tables are linked together to create a relational database is beyond the scope of the IGCC course. We can simply include it here for awareness as it's something you're likely to come across should you continue to study computer science. Each field in a database has a defined field type. You can think of these a bit like data types from programming languages. You can choose from text and alphanumeric data types, characters, booleans, integers, reals, or a date time field. In the database, we should make sure that each record within a table is uniquely identifiable. Consequently, there must be at least one field in each record that is guaranteed to be unique. And this field is known as the primary key. As you design a table, you might discover one of the fields can naturally act as a primary key. Here, the table on the left has details about cars and the car registration field can ideally act as a primary key, as no two cars have the same registration number. In many other situations, it will be necessary to create an additional field to act as the primary key. With the table on the right, none of the fields we originally had could be guaranteed to be unique, so we have created the field Student ID. When a database table structure is first created, it can also be assigned various validation rules. Validation rules can be assigned to any field of that table, and these include length checks, format checks, range checks, and presence checks. We could also create customizable validation rules. We discussed various validation methods in detail in a previous video. So everything you need to know about this topic, pause the video and take some notes.